Hello everybody again and welcome back to the Fe Fred Bear's Pizzeria Management Analysis. Now, this one came out a few days ago and I was a little bit busy when that came out. But I have time. I just did the Sammy Lawrence analysis and you guys might be wondering why I'm not doing a trailer one analysis. I've already seen the trailer one. And it's been a long time since that trailer came out. So I just want to do this one in which I've already seen Fusion play the demo in which I played the the one little teaser game to where I had to put in the code. But I couldn't record it since it would always stop the recording a second in. So I couldn't record that. But I haven't seen this trailer. In which it, I heard that it's supposed to be like Pizzeria Simulator, in which I'm really excited. In which I've seen like what some of the characters look like and what characters are in there. I'm happy. I was excited to see the Withers, and of course there's going to be Fred Bear and Freddy and the others. And then I seen a quick glimpse of like one of the attractions, which looked like a little cute little roller coaster, and I thought that was one of the cutest things of all time. In which I'm surprised that Scott ha hasn't actually created the the infinite tycoon mode for Pizzeria Simulator because I was hoping that he was going to do both. But then again, I can understand since he's been busy with everything. With all the games like the console ports, the movie, the VR, the Into Madness. Triple A game, AR game, he's coming up with everything in which we all thought that the series was over, but nope, it's still going, and I was even surprised to even find something on Scott's page. I always loved it whenever there was like the teasers, even though I never really actually got to see the teasers in all their full glory when they first came out, because I only became a fan after the fourth game, the, and the fifth game was only being teased, like it was slowly coming in the process, and FNAF World's second update was only like brand new. So I've been kind of like a recent fan, kind of, but I'm kind of glad I'm a fan. I just wish I was a little bit of a fan earlier. So I could have experienced it a lot sooner. But enough talking. Let's get into the trailer. First of all, wow. I love the look and the design of it. How it already looks. Sure, the scenery kind of looks extremely big and a little bit empty. Like, that's just kind of like my opinion, but now that I kind of think about it, and first of all, that's a golden helpy. But of course, we get to like the opening where we see Fred Bear doing his little performance. And which we'll see, of course, the the screen fading out from time to time. Now, here's one of the scenes that flashed really quickly. 
Oh, wait a minute. This is a customized helpy scene. This is cool. So, of course, there's the color palette. So, there's the reds, greens, and blues. The RGB. So, there's skin 1, skin 2, nose and buttons. In which I'm wondering what the skins are. It'll probably be like a different variation. So, maybe like one of them's going to have like the skin one's probably going to be like normal Freddy kind of style. And the other one's, I think, is supposed to be like the Bonnie version. Um, then there's nose and buttons, and of course, you can't have like a, a little animatronic with a cute little nose, and the buttons. The buttons are the cute, and of course add to the cuteness. Can't have a Freddy without a bow tie, of course. Then you got cheeks for if you want them to make, look a little bit more on the cute side. Then of course the mouth, but I'm trying to figure out how the mouth would be like. I'm wondering if it's going to be like that for one style, and then maybe a FNAF 2 animatronic kind of style. Or maybe it's just the colors. Then of course you got teeth, the iris, the hat, the hat band, and safe. So there's a lot of customizations, and I'm going to be really excited to play this. Then we get a little bit more of a better view of the pizzeria. In which, of course, we see that little rocket minigame. We see some... I see Golden Freddy. Um, you got some arcade machines. Yeah, let me mute the volume, actually, so I can play it. And we got some arcade machines. Now what's that? Whack a gear rat. Oh, it's the FNAF World enemy! And I like it how instead of a hammer, you get a Freddy mic. Like, just, I just like from FNAF World. That's cute! You can even see, like, the little designs on the plates. You get, like, a Fredbear head. I just feel like the, the walls are a little bit empty. Then you got the carousel, in which I love the look of the carousel. It looks so happy. I would have loved to ride those. Now, wait a, wait a minute. Why would someone have a nightmare on at a pizzeria? It's not even an actual animatronic. It's more like just an illusion. The news, whatever that thing is. So it's like a water gun minigame. You got Chica's Magic Rainbow. You see Freddy. Crying Child. Why would they even have that? I'm wondering why would they even have this. Because kids would be like, Oh, that's a horrifying... Puppet, oh, that's... Why is there a dead child? Then you got a different version of Candy Cadet. I almost thought that was a bow tie, but I, now that I think about it, it's just a piece of candy. But this one's a different Candy Cadet. His color palette is a little bit different. And I think his wheels are different as well. Then he also doesn't have, like, that thing coming out from his head. Got that, that giant pizza wheel, some more arcade. Oh, it's Freddy Kart. I've heard of a Freddy Kart fan game coming out. Um, then you got the main area, the pizzeria. And I was actually wondering, is, like, if that was an animatronic or a person, but no, it's actually one of the crying ch children. In which, these models for the crying ch child are, are kind of new this year, and I thought I'd just seen a, a minigame scene. Yeah, sorry. See, I see a person right there. I see a man, and I see something right there. So, it just showed us some of the minigames. And that guy just flew off into the chute. Although, it went up. Then you got to see Golden Freddy. Awakening, and Fredbear's Pizzeria Management. So... I'm excited for this game to come out. I'm hoping that I don't need any sort of special softwares. And I'm hoping that also, even after the game comes out, there will be like, like updates to where more mini games and more stuff can be unlocked. In which I have a feeling that you're going to be able to like expand out your pizzeria and such. Because I'm hoping that it's not going to be just a, like, I'll be fine with it. It's just that it would it'd be cool if that like, you get to choose where everything goes instead of like putting them in like a little designated area like 
Scott's Pizzeria Simulator did, to where it's like, you got this little section on the sides, and that's it. But, we'll just have to wait and see, because the game's still in production, in which I'm say saying, in my opinion, that it's turning out incredible. A lot of games are turning out incredible, even just by them showing what they have so far, like, for example, Twisted Reality and A Maker's Dream. What else? There's, of course, the Meatly's new games, but that's not FNAF fan games. Oh, what else is there? There's, there's just a whole bunch coming out. I don't even know where to start. But that's going to be all for today's videos. And I hope, do hope that you like how things are going. I will try to get a new microphone at some point in the video, in the future. But I want to use money for costumes I'm planning on making in the future. Because I, I, I love making costumes. I have a Withered Freddy costume. So maybe, in like, maybe if I was to ever do an unboxing video again. I can have that as a little prop off to the side of the Freddy head that I made. In which I would think that you guys would all like seeing that. Because it took me a while to make it. And a, fr a friend of mine helped me make it. So that's going to be all for today's video, and I hope, and of course, I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you want to ever keep up with my videos, or if you ever want to see more of my content. And I'll talk to you all later, and have a good night!